So I just made this flappy bird game with AI in just four to five prompts, and this is fully functional. And you guys can make literally anything with just few prompts. Let me show you how. So this is called WebSim.ai, and this is a simulated browser inside of your normal browser. And this website can make literally anything. And these are some of the examples that people have generated. You can generate the 3D environments. You can make the functional apps. You can make the games with this AI and literally anything. And the surprising thing that this is free at this moment. And they are using some paid models like Sonnet 3.5 and GPT 4.0. And Sonnet 3.5 is literally so good that I just made this game with the help of few prompts. And you can see this is the air hockey game where two players are just trying to push the ball towards each other. And uh, I am playing this game with the AI and it ca calculates the score. And the AI is literally better than me in playing this game. Now, let me show you how you guys can build your own application or game or whatever you want to create. So in this search bar, you can select the model. So I'm going to go with this on 3.5 because this is the best model so far and just type in that you want. So let's say I want to create a snake game and then hit enter and the AI will start generating the game. <laughs> Look at that. It just made a snake game and when the snake eat any box, it becomes bigger and bigger. And this is fully functional game. And we just created this with the help of one prompt. And we are not just limited here. We can also make some changes to it. And to make some changes, you can go ahead to the browser again and just type the changes that you want. So let's say change the background to any graphical image. And now it changed the complete interface of this game. But now this is not fully visible because of these styles. But you can see it can change everything that you want. Now here's a one more trick that you can even give it any image and try to generate the same image. So I'm using this image and let's create a 2D car game where the car is trying to avoid the obstacles. And here we have a fully functional car game. Not exactly the same, but it's working on a same concept. And it also feels very slow. So we're going to make some changes to it. So let's tell the AI to make it fast. And let's see what it comes up with. And now it feels much, much faster. And talking about the Flappy Bird game, let me show you how I made this game. So if I click on this search bar, you guys can see this is a list of prompts that I use. So I tried multiple prompts to generate it and then I got the final version. Now to get some more inspiration, you can also see some other people generations here and you can also classify them based on their today, weekly and monthly rankings. So here you can see somebody generated a spherical musical spheres and whenever these bubbles hit the ground, it generates a very beautiful sound. And you can also play around with the animation and uh, the gravity and the harmony style and whenever I change it, you can see the sound, the background music is also changing. And just imagine somebody has created this cool piece of art with just few prompts. And here somebody created a fully functional piano that we can play with our keyboard and even with the mouse. So let's play any melody. Now here is a one more method instead of typing the prompts you can just type the URL like this guy did and he just typed a URL you can also see some prompts but we can also try the URL so let's try generating the same thing with the URL like websim.ai slash piano keyboard and let's see what it comes up with and here we have our keyboard not as fancy as the previous one but we can play this one the keys are playing and we even have the option to record our harmony so i just click on this record button and i played this key and after that i can just play back my recording and there are a lot of cool things to try here and like somebody created this minecraft like game not fully functional but uh, you can build the boxes you can just sort of move around and it gives you the feeling like minecraft and here is one more kind of very cool interactive 3d viewer and we can change its shape like cube and uh, torus you can also change its color you can play around with its uh, roughness, smoothness, its textures, like normal scale, metalness, bump scale. And there are a lot of different things to play around with. And here somebody created this shooting car game where the car is still, we cannot move it around, but it's kind of shooting. 
and you can also hit the other cars that are moving on the road not so impressive but at least it's functional now there are a lot of things to play around with it all depends on your creativity and believe me this is so addictive that i spent almost three to four hours just trying different things going back and forth and trying different applications of generated by other people's this is so amazing you can also get the ideas from the other people and uh, talking about its usability i don't know from where we can get its code or if the code is even available or not but this is really fun to play with this thing and you guys can generate literally anything that you guys can imagine and also these urls that you are watching it only works in this simulated browser it doesn't really work on the normal browser but right now it's free and this is accessible for everyone so the link is in the description below go ahead and check this out and see you guys in the next one